Hallo der Blind Spectator für euch am Mikrofon und wir sind hier auf dem Kanal von Censored Gaming, ein Kanal, den ich äh, schon sehr lange verfolge, denn Zensur in Videospielen ist scheiße. Ne? Und es ist immer wieder interessant, sich da ein paar Sachen anzugucken, was denn mal wieder so zensiert wurde. Und wir gucken uns jetzt an zehn japanische Spiele, die in Japan zensiert wurden, aber nicht in anderen Regionen. Was ja sehr ungewöhnlich ist, sagen wir mal so. Before we get into today's video, first a message from our sponsors. Are you tired? Not of going to North Korea, Russia. Visit your data. Yeah, not for PN. Gaming. Guy. Weeks I've seen a few sense of gaming at checkout to get 68% off and for months free. The past few weeks, I've seen a few high-profile games having quite a lot of censorship made in the Japanese versions, including Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Cyberpunk 2077. The channel has taken a look at both of these games in detail in previous videos, but one thing that comes up a lot when covering censorship of games in Japan is quite questions on why this censorship happens, and also questions about whether it mainly affects games from Western developers, which at times, like with the games affected the past few weeks, may appear to be the case. This mm -hmm. censorship in Japan is applied fairly consistently, however, and is in line with the policy set out by the Computer Entertainment Rating Organization, Japan's rating system. Ever okay. since its creation in 2002, certain levels of expression have not been allowed in games rated by the organization, and the rating system is responsible for all games released on consoles. PC gaming, on the other hand, is often not rated by the organization, and so more extreme and uncensored content can be found when it comes to some PC releases. The organization has a variety of restrictions on what is allowed to be depicted in games, and some of these are stricter than most other parts of the world. Also, these policies forbid content even when assigned the highest age rating possible, which is 18 years and over. The two main areas are risque content as well as violence. Unlike over in the West, risque risky content, content is not allowed to ever be anything more than suggestive. Unlike over in the West, Senran Kagura wird dabei gezeigt, dass sowas was, aber Japan ist doch genau dafür bekannt, oder nicht? Best, risque content is not allowed to ever be anything more than suggestive. Ah, es darf nur angedeutet werden quasi, aber nicht äh, gezeigt werden. Darum sieht man in seinem Rang Kagura zum Beispiel keine Nippe. Aber es gibt auch so eine Menge äh, ey, Spiele, ne? Also, aber gut, die sind dann auch immer auf dem PC, so diese Visual Novels und so. Ja, macht schon Sinn. Ich habe bisher noch kein japanisches Spiel gesehen, wo man tatsächlich, ja, macht Sinn, ja. In nature. This has been the case ever since the rating system's creation in 2002. Any explicit depictions of being without clothes or actual graphic acts are not allowed, and thus you won't be able to find any of this in any Japanese console releases of games ever since 2002. Violence, on the other hand, is a bit harder to qualify as for what is and isn't allowed, but any more extreme depictions of violence in games are also not allowed by the rating system. And so, considering these policies have existed for nearly 20 years now, and are applied fairly consistently, these are things that Japanese developers will tend to keep in mind when creating games. And so this is the reason why you generally don't see anything more than suggestive content in Japanese games released in the West. Mm -hmm. Actual explicit depictions and acts won't be allowed in Japanese console releases, and so are normally designed from the ground up without these themes present. And this is also the case for certain violent content too. This isn't always the case however, and sometimes Japanese games will either be designed with the Western markets in mind, or will will unintentionally brush too close to the limits of the Japanese rating system. And thus, in these cases, you can then get Japanese games that are censored in Japan, but uncensored in other regions. And that's what we'll be taking a look at today with 10 Japanese games that are censored in Japan. Fall, Number one, Metal Gear. Prior to series creator Hideo Kojima's departure from Konami, the Metal Gear series was commonly compared to the work of an auteur, with Kojima's influence and passion at the helm of the series. With works such as this, it's much easier for for a creator to want to push the envelope or go past the limits set forth by rating systems. And so many of the Metal Gear games have had to face cuts in its home country of Japan. Peace Walker, for instance, had to remove a scene in order to secure a 15 plus rating. Kojima explains had this scene not been removed, the game would have been rated for 17 years and over. And this is something he was very unhappy about, saying that there's a tolerance for fantasy games, but for games where you show war or real violence between people, you apparently can't complain about anything. With this, it seems impossible to communicate something through games. The scene affected was a scene which shows Big Boss being tortured by electricity rods. Mm, okay. In the Japanese version of the game, these were then changed to tickling rods instead. 
Kitzel, das ist ja, das passt auch so richtig nicht in Metal Gear. Und das ist ja mal sehr artig lächerlich. What the fuck? Other Metal Gear games that have had to face cuts in Japan include Metal Gear Rising. Whilst in the Western version of the game there will be plenty of red blood, for the Japanese version this was changed to white blood instead. White blood is something that veterans of the series will be familiar with, with previous games in the series using white blood for its cyborg characters. However, in the Metal Gear canon, by the time that Rising takes place, white blood is now out of date and this is something that is spoken about in the game's codec conversations. This is why in the Western versions all of the blood is red instead, however in the Japanese Japanese version, despite this, this had to be changed back to the white blood. For both parts of Metal Gear 5, Ground Zeroes and the Phantom Pain, changes had to be made to the games again. Yeah, for Ground Zeroes, this Teil. affected a scene depicting a bomb being surgically removed from somebody's stomach. And then a similar change was also made to one of the scenes in the Phantom Pain. Number 2, Resident Evil. Resident Evil, or as it's known in Japan, Biohazard, is an interesting case of Japanese censorship. As when the first game was released back in 1996, it was actually the Western versions that had to receive numerous cuts to tone down the game's violence. Uh -huh. When it came time for the sequel, however, in 1998, this time it was the Japanese version that had to receive changes. In the Japanese version of Resident Evil 2, all of the death scenes were removed so that you can't see the character being killed, and instead you will just see text popping up on the screen saying you died. Following this, the majority of the Resident Evil <laughs> games released over in Japan have had to receive changes to tone down the game's violence. And this is something that still goes on to this very day. And this is also despite the versions released over in Japan normally coming in two versions. This being a Sero D version, which is for 17 years and over, as well as a Sero Z version, which is for 18 years and up. The Sarah Z version is more violent in nature, however despite this, it's still not the same as the western versions and various changes can be found for the gameplay's violence toning things down. Number 3, Silent Hill. And going hm. along nicely with Resident Evil is another popular horror game. Ich wusste auch gar nicht, dass die zwei unterschiedliche Versionen von Resident Evil da veröffentlichen, vor allem 17 und höher und 18 und höher. Das eine Jahr, what the fuck, warum? Oh, okay. Silent Hill. Interestingly, for the series debut title, an enemy was redesigned in all versions except for the North American version. This enemy is the Grey Child enemies, who were changed in all versions except for the US due to them closely resembling children. Thus, in the Japanese and European versions, these enemies were replaced by a new enemy called the Mumblers instead. Another interesting point to bring up here is that for both Resident Evil 2 and Silent Hill 1, both of these games came before the Sero rating system's creation. However, it is thought that during this time period of the Japanese video game industry, concern had started to grow over the violent content in games, largely spurred on by a series of real-life violent murders that had been going on in Japan around this time, which are also thought to be a big part of the reason for the creation of the rating system in the early 2000s. And so this is perhaps why games started to see changes mm. even prior to the creation of the rating system. But moving on from that and on to number yeah, four, Kidman, No More yeah, Heroes. For this entry, we won't really just talk about No More Heroes, but also Lollipop Chain. Dass da gerne äh, Verbindungen gezogen werden zwischen Videospiele machen, gewalttätig und der Realität, ne? and Shadow of the Damned. All these titles are the work of Suda51, and unfortunately for Suda, a variety of his games have been released in censored versions over in Japan. Comparable to Resident Evil, both the original No More Heroes as well as Lollipop Chainsaw were released in two versions over in Japan. One of these came with a Sero D rating and was heavily censored, the other a Sero Z rating and was uncensored. Aside from Sero Z games being 18 years and over instead of Sero D's 17 years and over, the Sero Z rating also comes with some other restrictions on how the games can be sold. Unlike lower ratings, Sarah Z games are applicable by law, and which means you'll be breaking the law if you sell them to anyone under this age. As well as this, for Sarah Z games you have to have a verified payment method for purchasing games with this rating. This means for instance that you can't use store credit or gift cards for platforms like ah, okay, PlayStation. This must have and so seen. due to these steeper restrictions for Zero Z titles, this is one of the reasons why publishers will sometimes choose to try 
and avoid getting this rating. Shadow of the Damned on the other hand was only released in Japan with the Z rating. However despite that, numerous parts of the game push things too far for what the rating permits. This means that some of the blood during scenes was changed to a bluish purple colour instead, as well as numerous other changes being made to the game's violence in places. Alongside these edits, there was also changes to any bare female chests. This means that in the Japanese version of Shadow of the Damned there will no longer be any explicit depictions of characters being without clothes. Number 5, the Debt Heaven series. Debt Heaven is a series of RPGs created by Sting Entertainment. The first entry in the series was Riviera the Promised Land for the Game Boy Advance in 2002, and curiously, both episode 1 and 2 of the series had to have some changes made for the Japanese version, while several of the West games games were uncensored. In episode 1, Riviera, and episode 2, Igra Union, changes had to be made to bathing scenes in both of the games. Alongside this, when the games were remade for the PSP, changes had to be made for the Japanese versions again. It's possible that these changes were made in order to secure the game a lower age rating for the Japanese versions. And linking well with that point is number 6, Super Smash Bros. 4. Series creator Masahiro Sakurai has gone on to explain that changes had to be made to Super Smash Bros. 4 so that the game wasn't given a higher age rating in Japan. These changes were only okay. made for the Japanese version of the game and saw changes made to Wonderpink's, Paulatina's and Lin's trophies in the Japanese version. These trophies had changes made to tone down the suggestive nature a little. Also whilst for Wonderpink and Lin, changes were only made to the trophies, for Paulatina, changes were also made to her in-game model. Speaking about these changes, oh God, Sakurai has said, had said Super Smash Bros. for Wii U almost didn't make its scheduled release date because of rating issues. We had to revise Paul Latina and Wonder Pink's models over and over again. We had Paul Latina wearing shorts and made the inside of Wonder Pink's skirt too dark to see anything. Nevertheless, Seru told us the designs were sexually provocative, they were being ridiculous and frankly quite juvenile. Underwear is just a piece of fabric. If you're more worried about seeing something trivial, like whether you can see some cloth, than whether a game includes firearms, you clearly ought to get your priorities in order. For future games in the series, True. it appears that the games were designed with these requirements in mind rather than having to make changes just for the Japanese version. But then number 7, Final Fantasy XII. Again, due to age rating issues, Final Fantasy XII had to have some changes made for the Japanese version whilst the West was left uncensored. Final Fantasy XII is also a particularly interesting case as the changes were made due to some real life incidents that were going on around this time. In the game is a scene where one of the main female characters is held hostage and tied up. The game's producer has gone on to explain that at the time right before the Japanese release, there were various incidents in the real world which would have made it hard to secure the game getting a lower rating. Due to this, the scene was completely removed from the Japanese version and won't be included until later on when it came time for the improved international version release. It's not known what the real life incidents that the producer is talking about, however it's very likely that he's referring to a Japanese serial killer from the late 80s. Right before the time of Final Fantasy XII scheduled release, his death sentence was upheld by the Japanese Supreme Court ah, two okay. months before yeah. the game was scheduled to come out. And so this may be the real life incident that caused the game to run into issues. Number 8, The Evil Within. The Evil Within is quite an interesting case of Japanese censorship, as for the first game, the game was released with a Saro D rating in Japan, meaning 17 years and over, however it was possible to purchase an optional Gore Mode DLC that would push the game to a Z rating instead. However, even with the Gore Mode DLC, the game was still censored in places, unlike the Western release. For The Evil Within 2, the game was only released with a Saro Z rating version, however like the first game, even with the increased limits of the max Z rating, well, the game still had to have yeah. numerous changes to tone down the violence. Number 9, Berserk and the Band of the Hawk. The Berserk manga is known for being especially gory at times, and so when it came time for the video game in 2016, the game ran into some issues with the Japanese rating system. This is something the game's producer spoke about prior to release, saying, Due to the high quality visuals of the PS4, we had to hold back with the depiction of the violence in the Japanese Aber in anime is so is standard. And manga the game's okay. producer also spoke about the possibility of reintroducing the cut violence for the western version, saying, So initially we thought that maybe 
maybe we could introduce in the West what we took out. But we're finding that we have really hit the levels of violence that are on the borderline. We don't really know if we can put that back in and if it would be okay for an overseas release. It's something that we're looking into right now. When it came time for the Western release, Western gamers did indeed find that the Western version was more gory in places than the Japanese. As in the Western version, it is now possible to dismember human opponents, whilst in the Japanese version, dismemberment isn't possible. And number 10, Neo. Berserk's Japanese censorship is also similar to another Koi Tecmo game series, this being Neo 1 and 2. For both Neo games, all human dismemberment was removed from the Japanese version, but was then put back in for the Western releases. The Neo games are also a rather notable case, as it wasn't just the Japanese version affected. What you sometimes see when Japanese games are censored is that the censorship will also be made to some other Asian region versions, and that is also the case with both of the Neo games. For both Neo 1 and 2, it wasn't just the Japanese version Version affected, but also all Southeast Asian region versions. And so this <laughs> means that regions such as Taiwan and Hong Kong had the Japanese changes as well, and it's likely the result of the publishers trying to simplify the process of having multiple different versions for different regions. What are your thoughts on these changes? As always, let us know your thoughts below. Uh, Zensierung to NordVPN for sponsoring. Ist immer scheiße. Das sind meine Gedanken dazu. Ich meine, es ist halt einfach oft auch dumm und unnötig, ganz ehrlich, wegen irgendwelchen bescheuerten Restriktionen und so. Es ist immer eine grenzwertige Sache. Ne? Natürlich, äh, manchmal sind Videospiele schon so brutal oder sehr anzüglich, aber mein Gott, ne? bei Filmen und so ist interessanterweise in der Regel nie ein Problem, wenn sowas ist. Ne? Oder halt in Japan bei Animes und Mangas ist in der Regel dann auch irgendwie nie ein Problem. Ne? Nur bei Videospielen, da ist es dann immer ein Problem. Auch Bücher können so brutal oder anzüglich sein, wie sie wollen. Interessiert keine Sau, Alter. Für Bücher gibt es nicht mal ein Altersrating. Ne? Es ist äh, auf jeden Fall eine sehr interessante Sache. Mal schauen, wie sich das Ganze in Zukunft entwickeln wird. Man denkt ja immer, die Japaner, äh, da gibt es immer die unzensierte Version. Aber es ist halt... Oft äh, scheinbar auch nicht so. Nun, das war auf jeden Fall ein weiteres äh, React. Ich hoffe, ihr fand es interessant. Guckt natürlich auch bei Sensor Gaming vorbei. Und äh, wir sehen uns dann beim nächsten Mal wieder. Bis dahin, haut rein. Abo. Video. Video.